Most people in, across America know that love is possibly in the air for a lot of people. It's funny as you watch couples go down the street or drive into a parking lot, you look at them and go, wow, how did you find each other? And were you supposed to? And that's the truth. But sometimes you're surprised by what God would ask you to do because it doesn't seem within the context of who you are or what you choose to do. But at the same time, you're revealing this growing inclination that you're supposed to do something and you want to, but you don't know what to say about you in that context. My personal feelings about sexuality is that it's truly a private thing. And who lays with who is really not my business. It's an intimacy thing. And openly, if we don't stop to think about things, then everybody's at peace. But if we start to label things, then people become, well, out of sorts today. And that's just not good for us at all. You see, who you decide to play with is one thing. Who you decide to stay with is another and who you decide to lay with might be something else entirely or it could be a part of the whole thing, shebang. But I guess what I'm saying to you is when a person sees you holding a hand, does it automatically presume that you're some sort of lover? And when a person sees you giving a smooch, does it automatically presume that you're something special or you're someone, someone's other? I guess the point is today that people might be curious and they might be bold enough to ask, but the truth is it's none of their business. What you define yourself as is between you and the Lord. And how you define yourself publicly is really up to you, but in truth it's still nobody's business.